Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Michael Williams here with White Label Consulting. I am going to do a quick tutorial that I think that will help everyone out. And I need you to, this is for, first of all, this is for, for, first of all, show sponsors. As you can see in the upper, I think it's my left, right? Uh, Lumix is not a sponsor, but that's who we like to use as far as our camera equipment. Our sponsor is actually Custom Clothing. Uh, go to go to custom.com. Look at some of the gear. If you like it, put the word custom in. K-U-S-T-T-O-M at checkout. You get 20% off any purchase right now. So uh, I'll probably throw a commercial in here or something or some pictures in the, in the edit. But uh, yeah, so let's get into this. This is a great time to have an ATM mini as you know they came out with an update and if you go to YouTube and you search up ATM mini update you will see all kinds of wonderful tutorials on how the new ATM mini update actually uh, and I'll switch over here so you can see it you'll see all of these crazy videos and I'm not gonna play any of them but you'll say six new features ATM Pro mini updates a USB output control and then right here a switcher upgrade uh, so the update is actually pretty nice right so you have all these people that are talking about and let me actually filter out uh, let me see your filter let's go in the last um, this month well let's go this year well this year even though the update is fairly new so here you go so there's uh, some fairly big channels here um aaron parecki zeph moses uh you know these guys who are very very well versed into the uh, uh atm mini update uh atm black magic software that really really digging into it and so what happens is is that there are some great things you can do now with the atm mini uh software now i'm gonna pull up the software as well on uh let me see here let me pull up the black magic software i'm gonna open it up here what is it called under my uh hmm okay setup oh no not setup i need software control sorry i will probably edit that out maybe i will maybe i won't black magic here we go so software control i'm gonna pull up the software control and we'll put it on another window so you can see that as well and i'm gonna switch to another view here um right here you see the software control which allows you to make a whole bunch of new uh, uh updates and and when you click on the settings icon right here oh man there's just so much here that that is new um that you can cover in other videos right i'm not going to cover that so you hear your sources and you have all of your ability to name your sources and you have your remote and all different things that advanced users may do that i may not get into but one thing i want to do is show you how to maximize this software right to actually uh just give you a whole new perspective on your atm mini now a lot of times you watch shows like fox news or cnn or whatever news channel you watch and they have the capability of bringing up especially podcasters if you look into any podcast they have multiple guests and they have if you don't have atm mini extreme you don't have the capability of bringing up multiple angles on the screen of two different people now i know there's a there's a there is a way to program them through macros in the atm mini but there's a way with the new update that i'm going to show you that you really need to look into now if i switch back to and actually i'm going to do this i'm going to do this a couple ways first of all i'm going to record the screen so i'm going to show you when i go into my uh atm mini software and i just want to pull up some software some some podcasts so you can see right here you have the the uh the thumbnail where they have one or two people side by side and you'll see that you have two people talking um and the layout actually is really it's a really clean layout so what you have here is the ability when i go into my software it's right here i have uh uh when i go into let me see where is it at oh up here i go to output so i'm gonna hit done and right here i have the ability to change the output of the webcam output now that's what obs sees obs sees the webcam output that's what it sees now if you go here you can switch to multi-view you can switch to host or you can switch to guest which is going to be your program preview and i'm going to switch back to my camera real quick so you can see what happens when i click on outputs and i go to webcam output and i switch on multi-view this is what you'll get you'll get a few of a full view of my program on my preview right now we have uh two cameras angled in so i'm going to turn on another camera real quick i'm going to turn on my second angle and you see a moment the immediate the the moment i turn on my second angle now here in the screen you see uh my program and you have my preview now if i hit uh my 
uh, second input button on my on my um, ATM Mini, you'll also see that now on the right side and the left side, and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, you will see that I have two angles, right? I have my main view and have my side view. Now, if I were shooting a podcast or something, I would have me here as the main guest or just the main view, then I'd have an alternate view. So um, if you go to, first of all, I'm gonna share my screen here. I, I'm going to, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm not in studio mode. Uh, I'm in pro, basically live mode program mode and I'm trying to have studio mode turned off in OBS. So anytime I switch a scene, you'll hear my audio, but my camera will disappear. External monitor so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, first thing I'm gonna do here is you'll notice that when I log into OBS, or in this is how I set it up all the time. I set up my main scene and inside of my main scene here, there, there isn't anything. I set up my camera scene and then I set up my display scene. So my display scene is essentially what's going to be on my monitor. I have three monitors, but for now I need you to see what's on my secondary monitor so you can see how I'm setting this up. And then I have my uh, main camera scene and then I may set up a, a third scene here and I will call this split screen. When I click my, my split screen, you'll see that there's nothing actually in the scene. So what I'm gonna add in my split screen is I'm gonna add another scene here. If you click on plus and click scene, I'm gonna add my scenes that are already there. So I'm gonna add my camera, which puts my camera to scene. And then I'm gonna also add my display scene, uh, bam. So I'm gonna add my display and it says add existing, add display, display, and I'm gonna click okay. Here's where I'm gonna do my cropping. So I'm gonna size this down to about right there. And I, there's a couple of different things I can do. I can crop my camera in, which if I hold down Alt, it will crop my camera. Excuse me, that was not Alt. I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo that. Uh, Control Z, yeah. If I hold down Alt, it will crop my camera in on the right. And then if I hold Alt on the left side, as you can see here, uh, let me click on this, uh, Alt. And then it crops my camera in. And I can move my camera over here. And if you've ever seen like a news station or a podcast, they usually have a scene like this already set up. So what I do is I crop this in. I'm gonna crop this in a little more, a little tighter for me. Uh, I don't need to be seen as much in this thing. And then I may shrink down the size of the actual uh, board. So now you can see here that I have my scene set up, right? So if I go back to, I'm gonna turn studio mode off so you can see the live presentation. So you see my split screen is already set up the way I wanted to. I can add a background, but for this tutorial, it's not necessary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my main scene and I'm gonna add all the sources I need to add for this main scene. So my first main scene I'm gonna add, is so I'm gonna add my camera view. That's my main camera view right there. I'm also gonna add the display view if I just want the display. And I'm also going to add the split screen view. Now for the most part, if I'm going, if I wanna see the display, I will most likely only add the split screen view and I may not keep the display view there. So this essentially is what, you know, this is the makeup of how I set up my OBS. My split screen view is when I'm talking or reviewing a video or content. My display is when I'm actually wanting to show the entire display and then obviously just my camera. Now, the reason why it probably would be good on your split screen to add a background, you can go plus and add a media background like a video or something. I would just add a media source and I would click, uh, you know, a split screen background and you don't have to spell it out click ok hit browse go to there's got to be a video somewhere on here I, yep i got a video right here on my downloads so i'm going to click on loop and restart on playback use hardware decoding when available and i don't need to change the speed or anything i just want it to so i want that at the bottom of my split screen Control f makes it full screen and that will allow your um video to play behind your scene and actually you can add a color if you want you can add a solid color if you want but that's essentially what you need so when i go to my main scene and i have my uh display on which is just the actual display as you can see when i turn on my split screen there's actually a background if i didn't have that background then my split screen would be on top of my camera like right now my camera source is on you would see the camera behind me and that's not what i want I want it to be independent sources. So that's how I have it set up. Now I know you're like, that was a long intro, but this is the reason I want to show you this. So with the new ATM mini update, 
you have the ability now to change the uh, outputs of not only uh, as you could before the HDMI out, but now you can change the output of the webcam output. And that is what we see on uh, OBS. If I go to transition here, I'm gonna switch back to my main camera. When I click on outputs here and switch my webcam output to multi-view, now you get my entire multi-view uh, screen view on the on the on the uh on the live on the main scene on the on the live on the program view and that allows you to see all four uh um this allows you to see all four camera inputs so if you had a couple of extra like i have an extra monitor you can actually can take the output of the hdmi out output and run it into another smaller video capture card that you would get on amazon and then you actually have usage of the multi-output view for production as well as the hdmi output to use in your your software so that's a very useful feature but i don't think we're maximizing that feature as much in obs like we should i am going to switch back uh my output on my webcam to host so now you see it's my host and i'm also going to transition over to my screen now on my screen i am going to put up my software and I actually for now you don't even need my face on the camera you really just need uh i'm gonna just put up display for now and i'm gonna transition it over you just need to hear my voice real quick so here on the screen you see my atm mini software here's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna and I, I, what i'm gonna try to duplicate or create is what's called super source if you look up the atm mini uh, extreme you can create angles where you can put multiple camera angles up simultaneously now there is a way to do that through an extended tutorial on macros but i'm going to do a shortcut to kind of help you produce a form of supercut on your obs or you can do this in ecamm or any software that allows you to duplicate sources and here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to my scenes now i'm going to create three scenes i'm going to create camera one right uh excuse me camera one <laughs> i didn't type it right i'm gonna get click OK and you're gonna see that it you know disappears because there's nothing on the left hand side there's nothing there then I'm gonna click another scene and call it camera 2 click OK and then I'm going to click another scene and call it guest mode now here's what I'm gonna do and this is gonna take a little bit of practice for you to understand you're going to go into your ATM mini software right and you're going to switch your output here webcam to multi view what that's going to do is the moment i click i go into camera one and i add a video capture device i'm obviously going to add an existing capture device to the main camera it's going to add this view to your stage it's what it's going to view something that i did not uh specify in the video is that when you go into your settings here on your uh, atm mini make sure that on your multi-view setting here you turn off all the text and you turn off all the borders and all of the audio signals if you don't do that then you'll have audio overlays on your uh on your source and you don't want that so make sure when you go into this screen right here you want to turn off the audio overlay you want to turn off the label overlay and you want to turn off the borders or change the borders to uh the color of black so you can't be seen but you can turn everything off so make sure you turn off every single overlay as you continue to set up the super source for your live stream okay back to the video here's what i want to do in camera one i want to crop this down to i'm going to hold down the alt key i want to crop this down to my main camera here that's what i want to do i want to crop this down to this camera right and i want to hit Control f there so now i have inside of that scene camera one of the multi-view of the atm mini now i want to go to camera now first of all i want to right click on this and i want to copy this and i want to go into camera two and i want to paste that as a reference that's all i want to do i want to right click on that and i want to go to transform and i want to reset the transform on this camera angle right so i'm going to reset the transform now if i go into camera one the the transform on camera one is an independent source so it's still set to the crop of the upper right hand corner which is the live view when i go to camera two it's reset you know what i want to crop that to I want to crop this to the other camera angle bam so i want to crop this here and i want to hit Control f so now with the atm mini i have two camera views now this is one camera one camera the 9.5 update which allows me to change the usb uh output and now i have camera one right and i have camera two i have two separate scenes with two different angles in it 
Now guess what? I want to go into guest mode. There's nothing inside of guest mode, correct? And I want to hit plus and I want to add a scene. Now I want to add camera one and I want to add camera two. There we go. So now what that allows me to do is what? I can click on camera two. I can now click on camera two. I'm going to lock camera one just so we don't pick the wrong one. And I'm going to resize this down to a side by side view right here. It's going to snap in. I'm going to lock camera two and I'm going to go to camera one. And I am going to put this here side by side. And now what I'm going to do is create a similar. I'm going to unlock camera two. And I'm actually going to crop camera two in a little bit because I don't really need my computer real quick and just move it over. I want to make sure they're the same size. The snap feature on OBS works really well where you get these the same size. So now what this does is it creates sort of a super source like you would on ATM Mini Extreme because I can have a camera angle here, a camera angle there. And you can see that I've with the ATM Mini software, I've created a super source style feature that normally is a little bit harder to program on the ATM Mini uh, Pro ISO, which is what I have. Now you can go into the settings and adjust the picture in picture, save macros, do different things like that. And but here, just with the, just with what I have going on, um, and I'll transition over and show you. This is a live view of me setting up two camera angles, right? So here's my main scene that uh, is going to have uh, my just my camera angle. And I'm gonna switch and show you the difference. And really, even in my main scene with my camera, you'll notice here on, uh, when I switch transition back, you'll notice that in my main scene, my camera angle has changed to being a multi-view on here. So this is specifically for if you're gonna bring guests in or you have guests in the studio or you have a two camera angle, this is a way that you can view two camera angles at one time by setting up these scenes here. You set up camera one, you crop into the upper left hand corner, you set camera two, you crop into the upper left hand corner, which is your program and your preview, and then you set up a guest mode. That's it. And in your main camera scene, what I would do is I would go to my main camera and I would just crop into the main camera scene. That's what I would do. So here's my main camera scene. I'm gonna hit control F to make that uh, all the way live. And I need to crop in a little bit right there. So that's my main camera, my split screen. Obviously my split screen is still the same because I adjusted my main camera view. I have camera one again and I have camera two and then I have guest mode. So if I were interviewing somebody in studio or I had four guests, I could set one side of the camera angle to crop in on one side of the table. Like we have here, we have a four person table here and another camera to set on the two sides. And with my ATM mini, essentially I am able to uh, have the ability to display multiple angles with the ATM mini update. And you'll see that it does produce a very good quality for what we're doing. Again, the only uh, drawback I see is that if you are recording this and you're trying to do 4K, um, first of all, the ATM Mini Pro does not do 4K, so that's a drawback. Second of all, when you do uh, do this and you blow this up on a bigger TV, like I have a 55 inch in here, if you were to blow this up on a uh, maybe a 60 inch or something TV, you will see a little bit of the quality degradation because you're, you're cropping in. The more lighting you have, the better it is, the better lens you have, it will help out. But with this way, I can add, I can now add this scene that I just did to the uh, multi-view guest mode scene to my actual live scene. And th there's a, there, I'm gonna show you right now. There's an example of when you don't put a background on top of, uh, in, in a scene that you have this feature right here. I would add a background or something or dress it up so that you don't have uh, th this, you know, you have this problem where like right here on this scene, I have a background that shows, that covers up the bottom layer. Um, that's Michael Williams, White Label Consulting. That's my tutorial for today. Thank you for watching. God bless and good night.